All right. Psalm 67, to the choir master, with stringed instruments, a psalm, a song. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us, Selah, that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth, Selah. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. Let all the ends of the earth fear him. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, as you have been gracious to us in Christ, please continue to be gracious to us in Christ your Son. And as you have blessed us and made your face to shine upon us in Jesus, please continue to bless us and make your face shine upon us in Jesus our Lord. And please do all of this and more, that your way may be known to all the world, that your power, your sovereign strength may be recognized and celebrated among all the nations. For this is the same power that raised our Savior from the dead, after he kept the whole law for us and suffered our sin's punishment. O oh, let the peoples, all the peoples, praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, because the judge of all the earth, the King of kings, has come and won our salvation that we may be fully forgiven and adopted as your own. Father, please compel us this morning to rejoice. May the Holy Spirit increase our faith and joy in Jesus Christ, and may the Spirit bless us with a deeper resolve to repent, a deeper reverence and fear for you, that we might live for your good pleasure. Lord God, you are worthy of all of our praise in faith and love and obedience. You deserve a wholehearted devotion from every single man, woman, and child in this room, in this town, as well as throughout this whole world. Please bring the nations to yourself and be honored. Father, I want to pray for all the members of our city council and our mayor, Lee House. If any member of our council and if our mayor does not trust in your son, please draw them to Christ. Please bring them to repent and treasure Jesus as their all in all. Drive our leaders and our citizens to embrace Jesus' lordship with us, to love your truth and grace, and to know and uphold true justice. And Father, we also want to pray for the nation of Mauritania. This is a very dangerous nation for believers in Christ. Please soften the heart of many with the gospel of your grace. Please bring many to hear and believe in Jesus. And as you bring many more to salvation in Mauritania, please protect and make fruitful your church. May your church strive by the strength that you provide. Cause them to persevere, to live holy lives, to care for the poor and needy, and to hold out the truth of the gospel. And finally, Father, we also ask your blessing upon our worship service this morning. Refresh our hearts, deepen our desires for you. Restore to us the joy of your salvation, O Lord. May we be serious and sincere in our worship of you. Please fill us with Christ's exalting joy and spirit-empowered happiness in you. All these requests and praises are directed to you, Father, through Jesus Christ, by the power of the promised Holy Spirit. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we can ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> 